What's up? Your two favorite kids here, Molly and Danya. We're here to wish you a really happy 70th birthday from your two favorites. You are so old, really. Well, you've been annoying us our whole lives, like taking this picture and this picture and this picture. You've been annoying other people a whole lot longer. Let's see from your friends, frenemies, and families from your past what they have to say about the times you've annoyed and enjoyed together. We love you. Hey, Daniel, what's the most annoying sound in the world? Ah! Bye. Happy birthday, Kate, from every country you have taken us to. Feliz cumpleaños from Spain and Cuba and Peru and Mexico. Feliz aniversario from Portugal. Joyo anniversaire from France and Monaco and Quebec. Buon cumpleaño from Italy. The rest of these we can't pronounce, but happy birthday from Russia. And Germany and Austria. Norway. Turkey. Croatia. And Poland. Greece. Belgium. The Netherlands and Denmark. Estonia. Iceland. Finland and Sweden. Czech Republic. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Kate. Happy birthday, Kate. Happy birthday, 70th birthday, Kate. And tell Mary I love her and miss her. Hey, Kate. I stopped by to see Mumbo and Papa. Mother, brother, and Papa said, tell you happy birthday. Of course, Mama had a million questions. She wants to know where you're going to eat, what you're going to do. I told her she's going to celebrate all month long, just like you do. And everybody sends their love and... Happy, happy birthday. We love you. Hey Kate, happy birthday. We're here with your old friend Izzy from 1996 to wish you a happy birthday. We're thinking about you today and always. Happy birthday. Hey Kate, I add my happy birthday too. We love you. And there's so many things you've given us. So much fun, so many great memories. Lots to look forward to, but we have to remember Izzy and the Olympics and Ellis and Zachary took this Izzy all the way to South Africa, thinking about you halfway around the world. So happy birthday. Here's to you. And Kate, to I'm at Sprayberries. Do you want me to get you an aristocrat or do you want a barbecue and stew and onion rings? Louis Grizzard special. Just let me know. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kate. I'm sure you were probably at the library. I was always confused when you and Eloise were at uh, Colonial Homes, and I'd ask where Kate was, and I'd always, they'd always say you were at the library. I found out later that uh, the library was a bar. And then oftentimes when you were at the library, you were actually at Benton's. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful birthday and many more to come. Set, go. Happy birthday, Miss Kate. Happy birthday, Miss Kate. Happy birthday, Miss Kate. Happy birthday, dear. Kate, can you say happy birthday, Miss Kate? Hi, Mama. Okay, Kate, here we go. Next stop, first boyfriend, Peter Glover. <laughs> I'm leaving Grace and Emmett's. I'm headed over to Karen's, and I'm going to show you the outside of the house since Karen bought Peter's 
mm -hmm. house. Miss yeah. Inez lived there for mm. uh, ever. Yes. She really did. Yep. And right. it's beautiful inside, too. Looks great. All right. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. Hey, Kate, happy birthday, sweet friend. If you're wondering why I'm standing outside with my sunglasses on, it's because when I lit 70 candles inside my house, my smoke alarm went off because the whole room filled with smoke. You might be hearing fire trucks coming up at any moment, but just know that we are all celebrating with you and love you very much. Have a happy day. And then I ran into Grandmama and Granddaddy, Miss Mary and Mr. Welburn, they sent their love. Your grandmama had a hoe in her hand and a cigarette dangling out of her mouth. She said she'd just been working in the garden. Looked great. Happy birthday. Hey, Kate. At the Alamo, remember when we went to see King Kong? I was scared to death. Happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday, sweet Kate. Kate. And wishing, wishing you many, many more. From Carmack's man. And Clarita. We just want you to know how much we treasure our friendship with you for the last 33 years. We thank God for you, your smile, your love, your ability to shine day in and day out, your courage, your example, and we count ourselves blessed to be called your friends. Love you, Kate. Happy birthday. Chubb, let me tell you about my best friend, Kate. She's got her birthday coming up on April the 2nd, and she will be 70, but she is so dear to me, and she has taught me so much about life, and there's so many things that we have done that I would have never done if it hadn't been for her. She made everything so special. Now, I'll tell you an example. I went to see the Beatles. This is after they'd been on Ed Sullivan, and it was a big deal. Miss Joyce took me and Kate, and then also I had my first dinner party at Colonial Homes with George Waterfall. That never would have happened without Kate. We were at a bar called Harrison's and had had a few gin and tonics, and she invited George to come eat dinner. And I said, Kate, we don't have any food. And she said, well, I think we've got some chicken. So we had chicken and baked beans and iceberg salad. And what I didn't realize till later was that George was a vegetarian and Kate hated baked beans and the salad was pathetic. I remember looking at George's plate and thinking, this is not a very nice dinner party. Also, she got me my first job at the age of 13. And this was working with Donna Coggins' daddy, corrugating tin at his sheet metal shop in the summertime. Yeah, I know, it's hard to believe. It was hot. We didn't have gloves. We didn't have steel-toed boots. We had on our kids, but the best part was we did it twice, and he paid us in cash. Another thing she did, she got me involved in the bicentennial, and we went to Washington, D.C., and then to New York City on the train to watch the tall ships. It was just Fabulous. It was just great. We met John Train and stayed in Benton's brother's apartment, and it was just a great time. Me, Kate, Burr, and Benton. Then she got me in on a trip to Spain. It was great. 
My favorite part was going to the Costa del Sol, southern Spain, Marbella, and it was just a special, special time and a special trip. But another thing she taught me is I always like gin and tonics with Bombay, Bombay gin, and she said, no, you've got to drink gin, the blue sapphire. It goes down so easy. Well, what she didn't tell me is that it made you think you were invisible. We finally had to quit drinking gin. But I love her to death. She's the best friend I've ever had, the most loyal friend. I would walk over hot coals for her. I love her to the moon and back. And she absolutely is a very, very, very special person. God threw away the mold. There's not another one like her. So, after I tuck you in and put you to bed, I think I'm going to call her in the morning and just check on her. I need to find out. Another thing is she she's the first friend I've had that's lived next door to a celebrity. I need to find out what Nancy Grace is up to. All right, that's the story of my BFF, Chubb. I love you, and I love Kate. Night-night. You're a good boy. You're a sweet boy. Do you want to go brush your teeth? Huh? You want to go brush your teeth? Let's go. Well, happy birthday, Kate. The baby's 7 from your beloved favorite son-in-law. I hope you have a wonderful celebration. I'll be there with you. And don't forget to have rosé all day. And the strawberries in the vineyard. I know you love that. <laughs> don't forget to get a nice tan on the beach. And uh, enjoy Casa de Campo. Love you. Bye. Okay, Kate. Here we are. Peter Glover and Miss Inez and Taylor and Gandy and the daddy. I can't remember his name. I can see him plain as day. But anyway, my sister-in-law Karen lives here now. She painted the house, did some landscaping, and absolutely loves it. She's playing bridge, so I can't get in. But uh, I think I think it turned out real good. All right, I know you and Peter were never serious. I think this was a kindergarten thing. Happy birthday, love you. Mr. Welburn didn't recognize me, but he sends his love. Said he'd see you in thirty years. Lots of love. Hey, Mom. Seeing all those Noonan videos really proves that you are a real hick. Oh, man. Have you seen my laptop? Oh, that's right. You ran over it. All right. Well, I better get back to it. I'm going to go get some cheese popcorn. You want some? Oh, by the way, have you seen my keys? <laughs> Happy birthday, Mom, you old yeller. Love you. Hi, Kate. It's Beth Baron Wagstaff. I now live in your grandmama's house and have loved it for the past 30 years. Can you believe it? Anyway, here it's your birthday. I'm out here cutting grass because that's all we have since we lost about 160-something trees three years ago in that tornado. Aren't you glad you weren't here? I hope you have a great day and a wonderful birthday. Take care. Hey, Kate, Beth told me to get Grandmama's front door. House looks fabulous. Happy birthday. Hey, Kate, just ran into Aunt Deedle. She said she sends her love 
She said she wishes she could go out and eat lunch with us again. Wishing you a happy birthday. I'm looking for Joyce and New. I know I'm close. Here's Aunt Deedle and Uncle Everett. And everybody says happy birthday. Love you. Happy birthday, Kay. This is Deedle from the grave. I'm kind of surprised you're still alive after all these years of craziness that y'all have done. Wishing you a happy birthday. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Love you, Deedle. Cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños feliz. Te deseamos, Kate. Cumpleaños feliz. <laughs> happy birthday! Happy birthday, Kate. Can you? Let's just end it there. Okay. Say hello to your Alpine house. They've painted it, added a pool, a pool house, and a three-car garage. Still landscaping. Happy birthday. Hey, Kate. Just following up. Everybody at Glover and Davis says happy birthday and many, many more. Love you. Bye. Hello, Kate. Or... I mean, you've always just been Mrs. Evans to me, so it's always weird when I call you Kate. Ellie and I say happy birthday from Denver. We love you. Um, obviously, the one story that will always come to mind for me is when you broke up my uh, house party uh, after you'd already caught me doing uh, doing it with the uh, I am. And ultimately... Uh, you came in, kicked everybody out, and then sat at the end of the driveway for the rest of the night, basically. Um, anyway, uh, love you. Say bye, Ellie. <laughs> uh, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, Kay. Just left the library. Nancy Drew told me to tell you happy 70th birthday, and she had a great time sharing her journeys with you she says she loves you so much have a good day bye bye Go. happy birthday kate the whole man and ward clan loves you very much hey kate everybody dunk sends your love sends their love to you for your birthday <laughs> that'll work she'll happy 70th birthday kate i can't wait to celebrate hope you have the best day ever much love beth okay. happy birthday to you <laughs> this is a happy birthday wish to you from one of your alpine neighbors and also one of your lagrange street neighbors and i remember when when something burned up and i can remember when some flowers got destroyed <laughs> Fond and sweet memories. Have a great day. Hey, Kate. Just ran into Aunt Deedle. She said she sends her love. She said she wishes she could go out and eat lunch with us again. Wishing you a happy birthday. I'm looking for Joyce and New. I know I'm close. Here's Aunt Deedle. And Uncle Everett, and everybody says happy birthday. Love you. To Kate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kate. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> Look who I found. Here's Mr. New. He says we love you. I thanked him for all those hot dogs and going to the Georgia Tech football games. And here's Miss Joyce. 
she sends her love we love you and i thanked her for taking us to see the beatles i just cannot believe that we got tickets and then spent the night at the howard johnson it was the highlight of my life love you happy birthday Happy birthday, Kate. I hope you have a great 70th birthday. You probably don't recognize me because I'm so old. This is Josephine. I wish I could make my mother's Congo squares because I would make you some for your 70th birthday. I love you. Happy birthday. Hey, Kate. I stopped by to see Louis. He said to tell you hello. He was sorry he wasn't going to be able to make it to your 70th birthday party, but he felt like for sure that he would be able to celebrate with you in 30 years. He sends all his love, and he said to tell you you did a fabulous job taking care of his affairs so that he could rest in peace. He said he is having a wonderful time. Love ya. To my favorite, Aunt Kate, happy birthday. From taking care of my sister as the golden child was born back in 1990 to helping me solidify my new life as Angela to taking us on wonderful adventures around the world um, and showing us the best parts of Spain and family and love. Happy birthday from me. And a happy birthday from me as well. I can't wait to join your family and spend every <laughs> Thanksgiving with you partying. <laughs> and of course, happy birthday from Cucumber. We love you. Bye. Hi, Kate. One of my favorite memories was on the girls' trip to Germany. What a fabulous time we had. We had a wonderful dinner one night, and going back in the van, you exclaim, I can't find my pink sweater. So the van driver turns around on a dime, heads back to the restaurant. The poor waitress looks, looks, and looks for your sweater, only to realize, Mrs. Evans, it's tied around your neck. I guess we partied too hard. Love you much. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kate. I hope you have a wonderful day celebrating turn in 70. And just don't forget, I will always be two years ahead of you. I am so grateful for you and for your friendship over the years, especially those first few years that we grew up living next door to one another. And I have a million wonderful memories. I love thinking about when your mama had the sand delivered for the sandbox every year and the whole neighborhood came to watch the big truck go down the driveway and dump all that white sand. Your backyard was absolutely like a, like a park. We had two monkey bars, a whirly jig, the sand pile, the swing set, all the stuff in your backyard. It was such the gathering place for all the kids in the neighborhood. I loved it when your mama put us on a train, just you and me, to ride all the way to Luthersville with Homer, your granddaddy, the conductor. That was another great memory. And I remember when we went to Buzz's birthday party and your mama took the little boys down to the fire tower to climb up and they were all scared and you and I were the only two that were willing to do it. I also remember Mary's birthday party when we rigged the swing on the front porch up so high and put so many people in it that it fell and the the bolt from above came and hit Mary in the head and on her birthday at her birthday party she had to go to the emergency room and get stitches. So f fast forwarding we had some great memories in the Fine U house together at Georgia and I just just wish we lived closer so we would have more memories these days, but I'm grateful for the ones that we have. I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Well, Kate, I can't believe it. Look who I ran into. I found Uncle Bill and Aunt Molly, and Uncle Bill says he's doing great, says he feels so much better, and they both wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. They sent hugs and kisses. Lots of love. Happy birthday. Damn it, Kate. 
We've had a lot of adventures over the last 50 years. But I thought I would begin with our first one, a trip, a spontaneous trip to New York with friends. And there might not have been a sober moment on the entire trip. There are many other trips, 12 to Spain, Australia, but I'd like to end it on one of my favorite ones out west to see Molly. And when you became the dip, ditch bitch. Love you. Baba. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kate. We are so glad to welcome you into the exclusive three score and 10 club. I love all sides of you, but most of all your prankster and give her extraordinaire sides. One of my very best memories is when I received a phone call from the woman at the sanitation department about the trash in our front yard. I thought John Griffin was gonna have complete apoplexy. I also love your true love and giving nature for everyone you know, and even those you don't. But now I have to introduce a very special guest who flew all the way in from Las Vegas just for you. Hello, darling. I wrote this song especially for you. Where's my microphone? Thank you. Well, well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Well, happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hope you have a great one. Happy birthday, Kate. Happy birthday. Love you. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. We Happy have, birthday. We have a couple of things for you today in honor of your birthday. First, from Scott. There once was a woman named Kate. When 70 called, she said, wait. I'm planning a trip, so don't be unhip. We'll just have to choose a new date. All right. And now, some sacred heart. So so Happy birthday, Kate. Happy birthday, Kate. <laughs> we love you. Happy, happy birthday. Have a great one. Okay. Bye. Hey, Kate. We've been friends, can you believe it, for over 40 years. We have laughed and cried together over our happy times and sad times. We've celebrated a million birthdays cooked a thousand meals. Remember the Wok Fiesta? Because of you, I've traveled the world. We had fun in the pods at Krakow, the Christmas markets in Germany, the Normandy beaches in France. And the anchovies. And the anchovies, Duncan says. Thank you for being my friend. I love you. Happy 70th birthday, Duncan. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kate. I hope you have many, many, many more. See we you. love you. Hey, Kate. I wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. I love you so much. Thank you for all you do, and thank you for being the old goat's rock. Love you bunches. See you soon. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Kate. You are the best sister any girl could ever dream of having. I've always wanted to be just like you. Well, maybe not quite as old as you, but otherwise you have set the gold standard for everything. I wish I could recapture all the special moments over our lifetime, but I thought I'd hit a few highlights. Let's do a little photo journey. 
This is where it all began, the four of us. You actually have the mumps in this picture at my third birthday party. You've always had such a huge and great group of friends. I think I had as much fun watching y'all in high school as you were having in high school. Class of 72 was definitely the best. UGA was next, where I think you will live in infamy for your obnoxious nine victories. You invited me to a couple of the FIMU pledge dances and I was able to find Lisa Mullally's husband for her. And then on to Colonial Homes, the most glorious place and funnest four years of most people's lives. I'm holding out hope that Colonial Homes will be converted to senior living soon. I already have the official resident t-shirt, thanks to you, of course. You let me join a trip abroad with you, Vonda, and the Sandy Springs Middle School students when I was right out of college. My first trip to Spain and France in middle school hormones. I learned to love and appreciate the world outside of Georgia and have been to some wonderful places with you since. Paris, Poland, Marbella, Seville, Cordoba, and Madrid. I love your love of globetrotting. You have created the most loving family. And you have been the home base for so many of us over the years. You've been the hostess with the mostest for so many Easter's, Christmases, and the oh-so-fabulous annual Turkey Day. Please just promise me you will never retire the beautiful and elegant paper plate turkey treasure that you found at Lake Alatoona. You are a fabulous wife, mother, Nona, sister, friend, neighbor, and Olympic volunteer extraordinaire. We are so grateful to you and for you and wish you the happiest Big 7-0. Much love from your little sister. Love you, Kate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to our favorite second mom. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Yay. We love you, Miss Kate, from Elizabeth and the rest of the Owens family. Happy birthday. Hi, Aunt Kate. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday from Fine You Sister. Brought this all the way out to California because you know how important us Fine Yous are. Um, I hope you have a great day and I love you so much. Can't wait to see you again in a couple of months. And uh, since I can't be there with you on your birthday, maybe when I come back in town, we can go to Waffle House and get pecan waffles without the pecans, of course. Uh, love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye. And here we are with Emmett and Grace. Happy Sewell. 70th anniversary. I mean, birthday. birthday. <laughs> and Kate, Emmett's got the yearbook out. There is, there she is. <laughs> the one and only. Class of 1972. Oh, okay. my, won the spirit contest. And wait a minute, let me step back. Well, happy birthday. Happy 70 birthday, years Kate. old. I can't believe it. I can't Cousin believe it. Either. We all, Kate, we yeah. are all so glad we're here. Yes, we are. Kate and I happy birthday. <laughs> and look at this. I'm going to show you yeah, the yard. We're Davis cousins. We're kinfolks. Yeah, these are kinfolks. All right. Pink azaleas, white azaleas. I've really got More real people up front, but that's okay. If y'all know of any free yard men that want to come to Noonan, Georgia, <laughs> Grace wants to talk to them. I've had two that have worked for me for 30 and 40 years, and they died, both of them, within six months of each other last year. Dang. I need a lot of help. All right. We love you. Love you. Have a happy birthday. Hi, Kate. Debbie here, and I'm with your favorite birthday buddy. Hi, Kate. 
and we're sending you Zoom wishes from Ponte Vedra, your favorite place. I can't believe it's been more than 40 years that we've known you, and we were thrilled to have been a part of your fabulous travel group. Oh, the places we have been. Freddie and I wish you a very special happy birthday, and we're toasting you tonight with wishes of love, health, and happiness. So may you continue to sparkle as bright as this bottle of champagne. And here is to a very special happy birthday and many more. We, we love, love you, Kate. Kate. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Well, this is my story concerning my oldest sister, Kate Evans. Years ago, she and I were going to Montgomery to see grandmother. And this was back before I-85 was completed in between Newnan and LaGrange. So we had to take the old two-lane uh, 29 down to LaGrange and get on the interstate. So just depending on traffic, that would take somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour. Then you get on the interstate, and I believe at that point, LaGrange and Montgomery are about 120 miles apart. So there's another two hours. So if you make good time, you get there in about two and a half hours. Well, for some reason, we weren't in any hurry. So for some reason, we decided to get off at every other exit on the way down and took a two and a half hour trip and turned it into a four and a half hour trip. And we still talk about it to this day. Thank you. Happy birthday, Kate. Go. Hey, Red. Hey, Bobby and Guts. What's happening? Well, I hear my friend Kate's got a big birthday coming up. Oh my God. Tell me some stories. Oh, remember the times we'd hit her under the table at the doghouse so her dates couldn't find her? And then she would take us on joy rides through Athens through Hedges. Oh my lord, stop in the name of love. It's getting hot in here. And besides, when you turn the big 7-0, you don't have to hear those stories anymore. Let's get down to business. Happy 7-0, Kate. Cheers. We love you. We love you. Hey mom, happy birthday. You old pro, I'm so grateful for all of the days that we've had you in my life. While it hasn't always been rainbows and unicorns, it's always been animated. We've had so much fun shopping, like at Limited too, especially when there is a good meltdown at the end to liven things up. We've had a lot of great conversations in the living room. And just generally all of the early parts of the 2000s were so much fun. Um, I do think that life between you and me has gotten a lot more chill now that we can sit back and have a glass or two of rosé. Uh, just so many, so many great memories with you, like pretending we're somebody, traveling to Spain with the Countess going on pretend kayaking trips in San Francisco, all of our, our boot and Western store shopping trips like at Horsetown and other, other Western establishments across the country. Um, and most recently, we're so grateful for, for you as our favorite Nona or grandmother. Um, and starting from the very beginning, really, when you've come over in the wee hours of the morning to to help stake out, to watch weds while I'm in labor. And this, yeah, just more of that to come. We just can't wait. Um, I think Daniel, Daniel and I said it earlier, but you've really done a great job being our mom and annoying us. Uh, but even, even outside of those annoying moments, we find so much love for you. Love you so much. Uh, happy 70th birthday from the Countess and me. Happy birthday, Kate. I still love my pocketbook. Hi, Kate. Happy birthday. Enjoy your special day. I've put some thought into some of our more memorable times and trips together over the years. The first one that comes to mind is my very first adventure with the Kate Evans Travel Agency. This trip dates back to the late 90s. On this vacation, we toured Paris and Madrid with 20 plus middle school students, if you can call that a vacation. Nevertheless, it was enjoyable, scenic, and somewhat intriguing. My biggest takeaway after we returned home was no matter where you go or who you go with, if you're traveling with Kate Evans, you're in capable hands. You are a magician that can handle anything thrown your way. On this particular journey, some of the examples you were 
able to juggle on a moment's notice included middle school students with middle school hormones. I think I can remember one or two sixth grade romances on that trip. Fire control. You could have had a career in fire management. One evening as we were returning to our very small six-story Parisian hotel, we walked in the door and we could smell a fire brewing. Guess what? Sixth grade boys, polyester bedspreads, and the excitement of newly purchased cigarette lighters do not mix well together. Thanks to you and Benton, we did not have to meet face-to-face -face the Parisian fire department. As the trip continued, so did the unusual situations. You also handled with dignity and grace an alleged sexual assault. When this occurred, I believe we were on a day trip to Segovia. You were able to converse with the Spanish law officers as they were investigating the crime and took control of the situation, which soothed everyone's fears. Thank you. Finally, you're a good weapons handler, especially large, heavy rocks. You made sure that a particular group member felt comfortable and safe navigating the streets of Madrid with her rock by her side at all time to fend off any sexual predators, which was almost put to use on an evening stroll to dinner one night. You are an inspiration to all of us. Happy birthday and thank you again for all your hard works and efforts in our travels and family functions. You add Southern charm, fun, and frivolity to every gathering. Love, Kim and Bill, and can't wait to have a drink with you soon to celebrate. Happy birthday to my favorite and only secret admirer. Um, Kate, you are so thoughtful and I can't believe you are 70. Um, one of my favorite memories of you is over the years, how you would call me every year on my birthday from my secret admirer and wish me happy birthday. And I don't know anyone else who has done that that many years in a row. And we can't believe you're 70. There's so many amazing memories we have with you over the years from going to Spain, we were little, to you making us donuts every morning, a million sleepovers, and um, just having you as a second mom. We love you. We hope you have the best year yet this year. And we just wanted to say, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Grandmama. Grandmama. And Hey, Miss Evans, some of my favorite memories of you probably haven't reached the statute of limitations yet, but they were involving catching Rob and Daniel doing things they probably shouldn't have. Anyway, hope you have a happy birthday and a great another year. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear no. I love you, Donna. I love you, Donna. Let's <laughs> say something silly. <laughs>